Hello, and welcome back to our study of Penine Halacha, the teachings of Rabbi Eliezer Malamed Shlita. Hope everyone had an enjoyable Shabbos. Extremely cold here in the Northeast. Hopefully those who are enjoying the Shiva week vacation are in places that are warmer than it is here. But the Torah shall keep us warm nonetheless. We continue our study this week. Again, for the brave soldiers of the IDF and their merit and their safety, for the Rufo Shlema of Am Yisrael, and for the safe return of all of our hostages. The next chapter, Shutvah Seyacha B'Mitzvah Zaklalis. Madregas Madregas Yeshna B'Shutvah Shakol Yacht V'Yachid B'Mitzvah Yisha V'Eretz Haklalis. So in the general mitzvah, or in the public communal mitzvah of settling the land of Israel, <clears throat> there are many, many levels of partnership that fall upon each individual. Every single Jew that lives in the land of Israel is a partner in this mitzvah of settling the land. For via his or her living in Israel, every single Jew that moves to Israel, then our hold, our ability to fulfill this mitzvah to its fullest becomes stronger and stronger. And those who take it upon themselves to live in places that are less populated, so he gives, for instance, in the Negev, the desert, and the Arava, those valleys, <clears throat> but places where it's not the Merkaz, as we would call it today, the center of Israel, they have a greater portion. Because they're making sure that every single part of Israel is populated and settled and does not lay fallow or go to waste. And someone who lives in what we call Yehud and Shamron, some people call it the occupied territories, some people call it the Shtachim, I prefer to call it Yehuda and Shamron. Then he sell, set, that person will fulfill by settling in those areas of Yehud and Shamron, an even greater mitzvah. Because by living in those areas, you have a double contribution. The first is, First of all, you're, you're living in places and occupying land. I know that's a terrible word to use. I don't like to use the word occupying land. Let's, let's, let's try something else. That by living in those areas you are showing Jewish rulership and control in places where our enemies, the Arabs, want to take it away from us. They want to steal it from us. Shenis, the second is, Laman hafrachas hashemama. You're also preventing these places from becoming desolate and you're making them bloom. And the more we speak about living in places where there are fewer and fewer Jews and our enemies are trying very hard to conquer those areas, then those who do choose to live in those places, that's how much greater their mitzvah is. The Gemara tells us that Israel is one of those things that is acquired only through suffering and difficulty and challenge, and the more the difficulty, the more the challenge, the greater the reward. Specifically, when it comes to the mitzvah of settling the land, that as long as a Jew lives and in a certain place and he understands the value of his living there, then he's fulfilling the mitzvah. When it comes to other mitzvahs, usually we have to perform some sort of action in order to fulfill them. Lamashal, for example, Lahaniach Tefillin, Lasait Sedaka, Lihispalel, to put on Tefillin, to give charity, to Davin. Ulu Mitzvah Yishav Aretz Etzem Hamagurim Mitzvah. But when it comes to the mitzvah of living in the land of Israel, then just being there is actually the mitzvah. Nimsa Shakal Misha Zochal Lagoba Eretzisrov, O Yoser Bi Yishuva Yishu Yehuda and Shamron, Chaye Hashagra Shalo, Kaachila, so someone who lives and settles in the land of Israel, and especially if you live in those places that are less populated, or Yehuda and Shomron, where we expressed the greater level of the mitzvah, then, of course, being there, but every single breath that you take, every time you eat, every time you sleep, every step that you take 
is part of a mitzvah. So your regular actions have then become ennobled and elevated into actions of mitzvah. Think about that. Everything that you do is a life of mitzvah. And here's something that can make us feel perhaps a little bit better of those of us in the diaspora, that if we live outside of Israel, but yet we also have a partnership by giving money and we help enable settling the land of Israel, so then we also have a portion of the mitzvah. Our Money is what allows us to have partnership, even though we don't have a physical fulfillment of the mitzvah with our bodies, but with our possessions we do. Uh, I'll quote, as you know, many of you know that I've been very involved with Israel Bonds for a number of years, and I'll quote one of our great leaders from the previous generation, Rabbi Shai Kalimnik, Zichon Levrach, who's a rabbi in Rochester for many, many years. And in his pleas for Israel Bonds, he would say, if you can't make aliyah, at least make, let your money make aliyah. It was something that stuck with me. But we have the ability here in Chutz Laaretz to at least be partners in some form. And similarly, those who live in Israel, but they help those that live in Yehuda and Shomron, they also have a greater chilek. They have a portion of partnership in this mitzvah. So I know this may not be in agreement with everybody's politics, but we're talking about the mitzvah of living in the land of Israel. I'm not talking about politics. I'm talking about the mitzvah of Yishev Haaretz and the entire Eretz Yisrael belongs to the Jewish people. And therefore, we have to make every effort to settle, to live, and to occupy... Ah, there's that word again. And to reside and to grow and lifroach, to sprout and to have beauty in every area in the land of Israel. And we could all fulfill the mitzvah. And the less populated it is, and we go to those places, the greater the mitzvah is, says Rav Malamed. What a wonderful Musar for us to begin our week. So let's hope that for our brave soldiers of the IDF, we're fighting for this very value so that we can have this mitzvah and our for shalema for those who need and the safe return of all of our hostages. Thank you for listening. And we'll see you again here next time. It's Hashem. Have a great day.